I'm gonna let him just say whatever he wants and he's going to have to agree to keep it PG. Did you hear that? Hun? No dildos or prison sex? Exactly. As some of you know, my husband is actually quite hilarious. And most of you already also know that I am not a makeup guru in any way, shape, or form. However, I couldn't quite resist the temptation to have him do a voiceover just for your viewing pleasure. I have promised not to edit it. So without further ado, I give you my husband does my voiceover. So here we have Miss Marie showing us a bottle of something and she's putting it on her hand first and then using her hand as a little palette dibble dabbling it uh, symmetrically all over her face she's moving very quickly here and uh, I don't know if I've ever seen her moving that quickly before we're under the brush it looks like it's kinda smoothing things out and I notice a little dabble versus a smooth motion I'm sure there's a reason for that and I don't know it now we're on to a different little container which is smaller and I'm sure equally as expensive and this is being dabbed under the eyes uh, probably for some reason and also on top of the eyes this is an eye cream and it's being smeared and dabbed I've noticed a smearing and dabbing trend in, uh, Miss Marie's applique. Oh, we're on to something else. Another small container with a brush. And this is now for the eyebrows. Yes, the ever important eyebrows. One thing I love about Marie is she doesn't shave her eyebrows off and then draw them back on. Uh, but apparently, the secret has been revealed. It's because she uses that stuff in that little circular container. On to something else. Another circular container looks identical to the earlier one, and uh, this is more eye stuff. This is going on the lid, so we'll call this the lid eye cream or eyelid cream, depending on what part of the country you're from or the world. And uh, yes, uh, okay. And now we're on to another small round container. I've noticed a trend of small round containers and brushes and this looks like a special angled brush to use to get under the eye a special angle and I want to say this is a highlighting Marie's beautiful eyes and treating this application very delicately I can see because you don't want to stab your own eye now I'm elated to say that I was able to read the product elate and this looks like a small canister of deodorant that goes on your face. So maybe it's to keep the odor down off the face. I have a feeling that's not what it's for, but what do I know? And yet another you know, small little container. The finger is a very important application device, I've noticed. And uh, yeah, more dabbing and smearing. Uh, if anything I've learned this video so far, uh, a good application technique is to dab and smear. Yep, dab and smear. Okay, and now we're on to the next thing, and this is uh, probably, I was going to say, I was going to guess mascara. Marie's too fast, but I was going to say mascara. And oh, I know what mascara is for. It's for adding volume and length to your lashes. And here's Han. Um, and Han, I guess, is uh, a lip product because she's applying it to her lips and it's pink and gorgeous. And that is my uh, voiceover for Marie's makeup regime. I hope you enjoyed it. Aloha.